Greetings. I bet you'd like to know how to get this to look like this. Well, at the end of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how um, to cheat a little. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this is on um, changing textures on your sim, uh, the terrain textures, uh, and on your sim. Uh, anyways, as you can see, I've been doing a little decorating on my starter area because, well, it was boring. Uh, so these are the four textures I'm making. Uh, I have no clue what it's gonna look like. Probably awful, <laughs> but I uh, them because they um, they contrast a lot, so it's easy to see uh, when it's uploaded. So the sandy, rocky one there, uh, that's light brown that I'm over top of, will go on the bottom, and then I'll put uh, this one in front of me. This one next. And then that grass next, and whatever the heck that brown and crystally one is on the very top. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to just give my commands. Okay, so here's the two sets of commands I'm going to use. The first, the first one is set terrain texture, and that's the way that is. Uh, you can actually set the height at the same time. Um, but maybe I'll leave that till the end, or maybe I'll type it in. The second command is set terrain height, uh, and that goes for each corner again. Um, and I think I'll have to separate it just because that's the way I do it normally. So first we're, we need to get our uh, UUIDs. So back into my sim. Okay, each texture, every object, every thing on this sim, including my avatar, has a UUID. It's an identification number. So I'm going to copy them one at a time and, and then uh, I can set my terrain textures. Now, unlike the previous, um, I don't have to change sims each time. I just have to set the texture. <laughs> It does it for all four sims at once. Okay, so that's my first one right there. So you choose copy asset UUID. Okay, so, and the next thing, it goes by one, two, three, four, or sort of. Um, the first texture, the one on the very bottom, is zero. The next texture up is one. The next one is two. And the next one is three. So I'm gonna set the lowest texture first. So set terrain texture number zero and that really long UUID. And I have to type it all in. So be patient. And I made a mistake. time. So 
also it set the texture for all four uh, parts, which we can't see, unfortunately, because, well, we need to log out. So we'll do the next one, which I decided was going to be this rock one. God awful, by the way, but anyhow, whatever. And the last one. is that which I don't think I like. And it's all done. Now we're gonna re-log and see what we've done to my sim. prepared for a shot. seamless. The, that's what I created with that tile maker, um, which I'll show you after. that crystal stuff isn't bad. Okay, so now I have to change the height of my textures. I'm gonna lower everything. So there's the four textures and these are the four heights that I'm gonna change and you'll see that I've set them very very high because, well, I wanted rock more only at the top. Anyhow, I'm going to lower it. So the um, and it sets the southwest, northwest, southeast, northeast corner. Now I'm going to lower this to 15, 15, 15, and I'm going to lower this to 175, I guess. I'm going to do it the same in all the corners, and this we'll see it uh, as it changes. So here we go, um, I guess I'll kind of stay around here because you'll be able to see the levels change as I do it. So that's the command set terrain height corner one min max. Um, we don't want that there. Southwest, northwest, southeast, whatever. So, uh, it starts 0, 1, 2, 3 again, not 1, 2, 3, 4.
I already see it drawing. There you go. There's our scary sim. But as you can see, everything's lowered. The uh, software, it recognizes the level of the lowermost texture and the uppermost texture and it extrapolates everything in between. So that's the end of that lesson. Uh, thank you for watching these tutorials or this tutorial. Um, I hope they're not too boring and hopefully you learned something um, to help you in uh, the future or tomorrow or now with making sims. Um, it's not really that hard most of this stuff, it's just the mystery involved. So uh, next I'll show you how to uh, make texture seamless um, because the ones that I put on here did not start out seamless. Um, my method doesn't work for everything that I'm going to show you, but it works for stuff that is not too incredibly busy, fairly consistent pattern to start with. So um, stay tuned for the bonus session. So here's the bonus lesson. It's really easy. It's to make textures seamless. Now I need to upload some textures to make some terrain um, and the textures are not seamless. So uh, I'm going to use this little gadget called STG Pro, uh, which is really simple little gadget actually. Um, and I'll give you the information on where to get it at the end and you'll be surprised at the price it was actually pretty expensive 40 bucks but at the same time it saved me a lot of hours of work so it's kind of worth it if you make seamless textures which I do um, it probably doesn't always work but I actually haven't found anything that I have not that I haven't found that it not works on but I would imagine if it's a very uh, complicated texture that it probably won't work but I could be wrong so here we go um, I want to change the resolution I want to make it bigger because I like as much detail as possible so sand with footy prints I want that for my beach and my sim that we started the other day. So I'm gonna make this uh, seamless. See it shows you where the uh, seam was placed. Pretty cool. Not bad bit of a line there. This one was a busier one. Um, I have no clue if that's going to show up when I upload it. There we go. That's it.